Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Laura of Laura Plans It, and today I am planning for the week of August 5th through the 11th, 2019, in my Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner. Now, this week I am going to, for the first, really first time, actually use a Planner Cake kit. Now that I have spent a couple weeks really in here, I know I kind of used some of the stickers from one for the first week, because it was 4th of July week, but I really had no idea what I liked and what I was doing. This time I know how I want to have it set up. I've really thought through it. I'm really excited and I'm actually going to try using this kit. This is an older kit from Planner Kate. It's kit 22, MK22, so a mini kit. And I won't be using all of these stickers at all, but I'm going to use some of them. I'm going to lay them out. I really love the colors. I like the bright yellows because I know that's actually the color that Erin Condren's colorful planner uses in August. Um, I love the citrus, of course, and I just I like that there are actually some really simple pieces to it. Like the weekend bars, it's it's really simple and elegant, uh, but still fun, right? So I'm going to be using that. I have these adorable little Winston stickers from Nightingale Paper Company, where he kind of like peeks his head out. So I'm probably going to put him in here for a couple things, and then my son will be at summer camp, so I'll be using the Planner Kate summer camp stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, and when I am all set up, I will come back and explain everything that I've done. so I am all set up for the week. As you can see, just like every other week this summer, it's been pretty quiet in my planner, and I love that because it's giving me the ability to try new things. So I have some skinny washi that I put through the 6 a.m. block. We don't do anything before 8 usually, but 6 a.m. we're definitely not up and running and doing things. So instead of using that as an hourly block, I've used some whiteout on there, and I've put the skinny washi here to indicate that my son will be at summer camp through Friday. And then I used Winston here to differentiate from the week and the weekend. Uh, I used to do skinny washi down the side here, but I actually really like this switch here from the skinny washi 
over to my weekend bar here. And these are both Planner Kate. Winston is from Nightingale Paper Company. The Summer Camp sticker is also a Planner Kate sticker. Uh, and the Skinny Washi and the Weekend sticker came in the Planner Kate kit, which again is kit MK22. Then I went in and I marked off my habit tracker for the week. So this habit tracker coincides with what I'm doing in my Cultivate What Matters power sheets. So this month I am trying to watch my spending by not buying extra things that I hadn't already planned for. I am making sure to do 10 minutes of self-care every day, whether that's read a book or play a game or just close my eyes, take a shower, whatever it is that I need to give myself a 10 minute break, that's what this tracker is for. I'm also trying to eat healthier lunches or at least eat lunch at home, um, which not only helps with finances because spending to buy lunch out every day is expensive, but it's also a better, healthier way to live. So I'm really hoping for that. And then of course my evening kitchen routine. So that is something that I've been working on for months now. I've really slacked in the summertime because we've actually gone out to dinner more frequently and we've been grilling out more often. So I really need to get back into that. So I've got my habit tracker in here. I've also put some check boxes on the side, places that I need to go and people that I need to call. I don't typically put a lot of checkbox items in my hourly planner anymore because I use my petite daily planner instead. But this is more if I'm on the go and I didn't bring my petite daily with me or if I'm trying to figure out time in my hourly schedule for specific things, for example, when I call the vet, I'm gonna need to know what time I'm available to go, so I'll be using my hourly planner for that. I need to go to the library. Well, when's gonna be the best time to do it? So that's kind of why those are in here. Everything else, like you know, clean the bathrooms, that kind of stuff goes in the petite planner. I've got my hourly schedule in here. I have my drop off and when my son is gone for summer camp. And this is just a pen line that I used. Actually, the this is the old ruler that used to come with the Erin Condren life planners, I can't find my metal ruler anywhere. So I use this instead, and I love because it's see-through how easy it was to line it up and make everything really even. Um, so I use that and just my blue Pilot Juice Up pen. I, I did use navy this week because my black pens are all in my purse right now, I think. So <laughs> the blue one was here, I used that. I'm not a team blue pen or team black pen, I don't care as long as it looks nice when I'm done. And if you flip through my planner, you'll see I have multiple colors every week. It just, as long as it's in here and it's functional, that's what matters. So I've drawn these lines and I put the asterisk stickers that came with the weekly kit up here to mark that that's when I drop them off. I'll pick them up at the end of that time frame. I have put in some appointment things that need to be done. We don't really have a lot of appointments this week because most of my appointments are actually for my son who's in summer camp this week, so we've canceled most of them. And I've put in trash and recycle. And that's pretty much it. My hourly planner is, like I said, it, it's very open in the summertime because we don't have homeschool, which I'm typically planning for in here. We don't have any, you know, we don't have as many therapy appointments. We don't have as many co-ops and things like that going on. So really in the summertime, it's very quiet. It doesn't mean I don't need it. I still really do because I do long-term planning in here as well. But I really love the fact that it is quiet right now because I can test new things like putting these little Winston stickers in here. I don't usually put decorative stickers in my planner. It's usually very functional. Or um, a couple weeks ago, I actually did a vacation spread in my planner that week. Here we go. And I put all the pictures from our vacation because this would have just been all white space otherwise. And I really loved that I could add these things to my planner and test it out and see without worrying about covering up appointments or things that were coming up. So this is it for the week. Um, again, pretty basic, but it's functional and that's my ultimate goal of planners is to make sure they're always functional. If you like this video, please hit like. And if you'd like to see more Plan With Me videos for my Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner or my Petite Daily Planner, you can click that subscribe button. And if you tap the bell, that'll turn on notifications so you're always alerted when a new video comes out. And of course, for behind the scenes and sneak peeks, head on over to my Instagram, at Laura Plans It. Thanks so much for watching.